Hi guys, Steph here. Now, what we've got for you today is a lovely pen set. Now, can any of you tell what it is by looking at the box? There's a small clue, and the clue is there. It's got a lovely little gold inlaid nib to the top of the box. So, what we've got is a Schaefer. Um, these sets, or these pens, I personally feel it's very unusual to find them with the original case so let's open it up and as we said as i said earlier it's the Schaefer's and it's a pfm fountain pen and pencil set now not only is it unusual in my opinion to find the original case with these pens um but what we've got as well is the instructions which again i feel is quite unusual to find in these circumstances so it tells you congratulations you know we're glad you've you've bought a pfm it gives you a little bit of indication about the pen um, to the back you've got the the guarantee and interestingly enough just to the bottom bottom here i don't know if you can actually see um it says fort madison iowa usa below that in australia melbourne to the right in canada I think it says Golden Rich, uh, Ontario, and then below there in Great Britain, London. So the pens were made, as it says here, in four different locations. Now, if we open this up again, what we see is the original instructions as well. So it actually shows us how to fill your PFM fountain pen. Again, I believe it's very unusual not, not particularly rare, but unusual to find the original case and the original instructions as well. And in such lovely condition as well. Um, this, this instruction there, <laughs> I believe it's, uh, it's been stored in this box ever since the pen were actually made. So let's pop it back. Let's take the pens out, or the pen, and let's take the pencil. Let's pop the case to one side says he and as i said what we've got for you today is an absolutely stunning set the pfm this particular model is the mark 4 okay now for you people that watch my videos uh, you'll know that i've sent well i've done a lot of videos on pfms the different uh, different models uh, i think most recently i did you one on the mark 5 so what i'll do i'll leave a link at the end to show you the mark 5 but some people will say well what's the difference between uh the sort of mark 4 and the mark 5 nice and simply the only difference being is the cap on the one that i actually recently showed you the mark 5 it has a gold filled cap on this particular model the mark 4 it has this lovely um polished steel cap and then to the bottom i'm hoping you can see it's got a gold filled band to the bottom of the cap and well the very recognizable clip to the top there it's got a gold filled clip to the top of the cap there okay as with the five the four also has the gold filled button to the bottom of the barrel as you can see there so the only difference between the two is the cap as i say the five has a gold filled cap this one has this gorgeous polished uh, steel cap with a gold filled band and the gold filled clip to the top there apart from that um both identical in size etc um as i say this one comes with a matching pencil in my opinion um these have not had much use if anything i don't think they've had any use at all in fact when i actually pick these sets up the pencil it st itself still had the original cellophane around it which um, i've taken off and discarded but what you'll notice hopefully um this set come in this lovely blue color um, as you people will know they came in sort of black burgundy um, sort of blue green and a gray the gray being the most sought after after the gray this blue here is the sort of the next most sought after color okay so as i say both in absolutely superb condition 
Um, the pencil I believe has never been used because it was in the cellophane. Uh, the pen may have been used, I don't know. I don't feel it was, but what I've actually done, I've serviced it, put a new sack, new o-ring, etc. into it. So, let's take the cap off like so. Let's show you the pen and the cap together like so. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous example. Um, let's go up to the nib, straight to the nib. You'll notice it has these little notches here. There, that's actually the, if you like, the clutch ring for holding the cap on. And then if we take you up to the, to the nib, let's give you different angles. And what you'll notice, we've got a 14 karat gold nib. To the bottom of the inlaid nib, it says USA, which basically is correct for the pen. Um, as I've told you before on these pens, this is actually a snorkel filled fountain pen, which simply means that what we actually do, we actually unscrew the, the knob to the end here. And while we're in, unscrewing it, we push, push forward slightly until we can hear a clicking noise. So let's do that for you. There we go. So I hope you heard that little clicking noise there. You can see the snorkel has now come out of the, the feed underneath. And what we will do is dip the snorkel in the ink, press down once on the plunger knob, and that will actually fill the sack inside. Now, well, yes, okay, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's see the pen working. So let's bring on some ink. So what we do, we dip the snorkel in the ink and just simply press down once over the camera. I can see there's lots of bubbling going on. So we've done that. So all we need to do is screw, screw the plunger back again. And there you go. You can see it goes back into the, the feed underneath. So let's bring on some paper and let's see how the pen writes. So what we have is a, a Schaefer, as we said, this is the PFM. And for you people that don't know, simply means pen for men. Now what we've got here, this is the mark, well, it's one V or four if you like. The date of this pen, 1959 through to 1968. Um, it's writing, I would say, with a fine line. Obviously, with these particular inlaid nibs, there's no variation. Um, I've not yet seen a PFM with, well, with a flexi nib. So, they're quite a hard nib. But writing very nicely, lovely and smooth, and as we said, writing with a fine, fine line. So a lovely writing, nice and smooth, as you would expect from this particular model and make of fountain pen. So let's pop the cap back on for that. Let's just show you the pencil. The pencil again comes in the same trim etc. It's got this slight cone to the end there and it's actually cap activated which means that if we turn the cap you'll notice the, the lead there simply goes in and out of the pencil. So let's just do a, a writing sample with this as well. So again, <coughs> excuse me, we have a Schaefer. PFM. As I said, this one's the pencil. And as you can see, in full working order, in lovely condition. So let's turn it back again. Sorry, the wrong way. So the, the lead goes back in. Let's show you the, the sample. As I said, writes absolutely lovely. A lovely smooth line. I would say writing with a fine line. And as you can see there, the pencil also in full working order. 
Okay, so as I said, you people that follow me, you'll know that I've actually done you lots of videos on PFMs, we've shown you how to service them, etc. We've shown you different models. Um, this particular set is absolutely more than worthy for a pen review or a, uh, a video review. Um, nice and simply because, as I said earlier, comes with the original case, comes with the original instructions, which in my opinion, again, it's not rare, but, you know, it's quite unusual to find the original cases with them. So as you can see there, the beautiful blue colours, both with matching, matching caps, both made in USA. And if we, let's just show you the, the cap band to the top there. Hopefully you'll see both of them say Schaefer. And if we turn it slightly, you'll see that it says made in USA. Absolutely gorgeous set in a beautiful blue colour, which again is, it's actually a quite a sought after colour as well, which is, which is very nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it at that. I'll leave you um, a link to the PFM Mark V there, so you can have a look at that one as well. But I hope you've enjoyed looking at this particular set as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Leave a comment below. Um, don't be shy. But for now, I'll just simply say bye-bye for now.